Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a series on the Gloomhaven campaign mode, uh, which just recently released about a month ago. Um, we've got a ghost with us today, Genghis, Juan Solo, and myself, yep. uh, Placebo. So, or Dr. Placebo. We're going to be... Uh, yeah, hey. Go ahead. I was going to say, hey everyone, this is uh, Gingus. So we're going to be this doing... Coast. Oh. All right. Juan Solo, <laughs> introduction, go for it. <laughs> Hola, everybody. It's Juan Solo reporting to you live. All right, so in this campaign, what we're going to do is just try and take you uh, basically start to finish. Try and do a video once every week, uh, usually on Sunday evening, and then post it um, hopefully Sunday evening, maybe Monday or Tuesday, uh, just so you guys can watch it. A general format that we're going to have is doing one or two quests and then um, at the end of it collecting all the loot that we get and or items and or upgrades kind of talking about what the plan is of what we're going to do for those upgrades and then at the next video uh, purchasing those upgrades and then moving on to the next story campaign uh, so without further ado we hope you guys enjoy and we're going to get started with the creation of our group it looks like we're going to go ahead and play on just normal mode. Most of us are pretty familiar with playing the uh, the board game version of this. Uh, so we're not going to do any tutorial for you guys. It's just going to be you know story mode from the get go. Uh, what do you guys think about the uh, group name? What are we going with? The guild name? I think you were going to copy the one for from Red Dead. It's Cinnamon Toast Punch. Okay. Are we putting the or just Cinnamon Toast Punch? It's up to you. I'm down for it. I'm going to do under. I can't do underscores. But I can do hyphens. Is that cool? Sure. So I put Cinnamon Toast Boast. <laughs> cinnamon Toast Bunch. Uh, here we go. If I can spell properly. Now, um, I think we're going to play the uh, board game rules where each mercenary manages their individual amount of gold. Is that good with everybody? Yes, yep. that is yep. good. Because so that's be, what the original board game was. It will so. be shared uh, gold piles. It'll be indi each individual responsible um, for their own uh, individual gold amounts. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load it up and give you guys invites and we'll see if this works. I really don't remember what all buttons to hit. So Welcome to the Be exciting. It's been a while since I played recruit. You think you have what it takes to become a mercenary out there on the edge of the world? We are paid to venture into the darkest forests of the region and to step into ancient crypts with the unmistakable stench of death. So you're gonna want to hit escape flesh. and then hit multiplayer mm. and then do the invite for yourself. Be and ready then to face cutthroats, undead, fearsome tribes, and dreadful demons from other realms. You then find yourself as a mercenary. Without knowing how to crack a few skulls, did you? If anybody watching the video finds the audio too loud or too quiet, just let us know in the comments down below, and then we'll try and adjust that uh, going forward. This is kind of our first time doing um, a streaming series, or streaming in general, and so there may be a little hiccups uh, going forward. Uh, party panel, basic information on the mercenaries of your party. Click on the first character slot to open the roster panel. That's fine. And we hit escape. And then we said multiplayer, host. Um, let me just see if I can pick you guys up from Steam. We'll just see if that works. All right, invites should be sent through Steam. If not, I've got a code for you uh, that you can go ahead and join. It looks like it's working. All 
I'm actually really excited. Um, to get this started. We're just waiting for one solo to join and then he'll get mercenary four. I'll try and give you guys that same order. Does that matter every time? I don't remember. I don't think so. Okay. I can't, I truly can't remember. It's been so long since we've done even the guild master mode. Oh. Okay. So now you should have access to your own mercenaries to pick and choose. Um, I am, I gotta be honest, leaning a little bit more towards Mind Thief. That's what I'm pretty comfortable with uh, starting out. I don't know if anybody wanted dips on that one, but... No, I was thinking about doing group. But... So for people who aren't familiar with uh, basically how the campaign works, uh, you start off with just the initial six um, characters that you see here. So you've got your Brute, which is sort of your kind of tanky type class. Tinker, which is sort of your support. He kind of does some crowd control and things of that nature. DOTs, uh, HOTs. I don't know if he has any HOTs, but some definitely some heals. Scoundrel is sort of your uh, rogue type operative. Visibility, kind of high damage dealer, poison, backstab. Craycard is sort of your off tank, tank, some healing. Uh, Spellweaver is just sort of your classic glass cannon DPS. And then Mind Thief kind of varies in roles, um, but you know, kind of see at the bottom down here. But basically, it has some crowd control, but DPS, it can kind of do some tanking, some sort of self heal. Uh, just kind of an interesting class to play, but definitely harder if you're just starting the game. Um, and we are we keeping the same uh, characters throughout the entire campaign, or are we going to switch it up? So. It would be advised that you keep your same character until you open a new class. Um, and then you can choose to then pick that new class if you want or stick with your same. But it would probably prefer that you pick, you know, and stick with your same one until you at least finish your battle goals. Because uh, you'll have an overall, uh, like a personal quest that you get, at least how the board game worked. I'll take, uh, I'll take the scoundrel. I think Juan was... Okay, he wants the scan. That's fine. He, he might have been uh, going Craig, too, so I don't is know. Is there either a scoundrel or Craig is who he would play? Juan, what are you thinking? Do you step away? Oh, sorry. My mic was muted. I apologize. Um, uh, you can go ahead and take Scoundrel if you want. I'll take okay. between Tinker or uh, Craig Hart, depending on what everyone else wants. Hey, Ghost. Yes. You see when you look at your control of Brute, do you see where it says about the personal quest thing at the bottom? Yes. And it says when they retire, they'll no longer be a playable. I thought they were still playable even after they retired. So I don't so too. In the board game version. What do you mean? Well, it just says they're no, they will no longer be a playable character once they retire. It says beware. When mer when mercenaries retire, they will no longer be a playable character. I don't see that. I've already selected the character and picked my name. That's where, where I can see this on the next screen. Yeah. No, I didn't read it very like that part. I just I clicked on it since I knew what was normally you know what, normally what we did. So I was just like skipping, because I figured that's just going to tell you this is where you pick your quest, and so you can unlock, you know, the next character. So this, um, what I'm showing on my screen right now is the personal quest of the, um, Oh, it says choosing a personal quest. You have two different options for personal questing here uh, for the Mind Thief. And how the board game would work would be that you would have this you know, personal quest you'd have to achieve throughout the course of your campaign. Once you do, uh, the mercenary did retire out of your possession. Um, he was still playable after that as far as I'm aware, but we're going to have to see how it works here. And then that would let you then unlock uh, one of the two options that you see down below. So I'd have access to unlock this particular class here, which I'm not again sure what that is, or what this one is over here. 
Do the different personal quests give you different stuff? Yes. So, as you can see at the bottom of your rewards, you have two different possible classes to unlock. Okay. And they'll give you prosperity towards the town. Now, town prosperity helps everybody. Um, and gets us, like, cheaper unlocks for the entire party. But this is actually a fairly... Really easy one. I think I'm gonna go towards this one here. Um, we're gonna pick this one and kind of choose that personal quest and see what happens and try and unlock this class here. All right, so it looks like everybody has picked theirs. We've got one solo going with Craig Hart down here. Um, Genghis Khan is gonna go with the. Uh, Scoundrel. Scoundrel, thank you. Sorry, I was drawing a blank. And we've got Toast going with, um, of course, the Brute. So you can see we're sitting here at level one. Um, you've got overall health. You've got your own personal stash of gold. So each character shares its own individual gold. Um, you don't share together. So you have to pick up your own gold to purchase. You've got certain ability cards. You've got no bound items. You'll have to purchase those if you want them. Perks are unlocked as you advance. Enhancements, again, are basically upgrades to ability cards that you can purchase uh, going throughout the game. Uh, we've got some skins down here, so I've got two different uh, options to choose from. So that's a pretty interesting one, the Witch Doctor. Okay, so I'm going to go with... Um, skins of the Witch Doctor? I've got a skin of the Witch Doctor on me. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. i got one on the group. Oh, whoa. On the Mind Thief, so I'm not sure what's happening, why you're picking and leaving, or what but anyway i'm gonna go with the default skin this tells you just what our personal quest is and kind of how uh what the next thing we have to do is in order to unlock it so you guys can see right here that we have to do that you don't want to share your personal quest with the um other people in your party that sort of kept secret along with your battle goals as well uh the battle goals you'll get at the start of each individual battle that you partake in and it just gives you some sort of like extra uh things that you have to complete on top of your original campaign objective that may uh, allow you to get better upgrades as you progress through or give you faster upgrades as you progress through. Um, I just wanted to ask you all something like it's not it's sort of about your personal quest, but I'm not you know, going to ask what it is. Uh, my only question is <laughs> when you, you know, you were able to select two different quests, were they unlocking the same character icon or different icons? They were different for me. Okay, that's weird, because mine were both the same character icon. Yeah, mine were two different ones. Um, let's see, we got a city encounter that's blinking. Now, uh, first, should we, uh, since we each have our individual gold, mm -hmm. should we buy stuff first? That way we have, you know... It probably beginning. would not hurt, yes. Probably would not so, hurt. I was thinking of getting two items, but... One was the boots of striding, but I don't know if anybody wanted to take those also. What um, what do we have access to? Is it do we? Is it the town? We have. Yeah, uh, the, this called mer merchant. Go to merchant. There is uh, two people can hold the same boots, I believe. Mm -hmm. There's a max <laughs> amount of cards in each of those. So these are the starting off items, basically. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I think everybody probably should. I mean, it's up to you if you want to do it, but I think everybody definitely should probably purchase one of their initial items. Uh, I, I have no idea what was originally recommended for uh, Mind Thief. Uh, sure. I've looked it up, and I think Mind Thief, if you want to do a Poison Dot Dealer, I'd go with a Poison Dagger. Yeah, we do have access to two Poison Daggers right now, so that might not I feel like I need a Poison Dagger. Um, I think I'll you, take a Poison... Do what? I think... I think a poison dagger for you might be good. Um, yeah. It was either there or take the cloak of invisibility, but I feel like I need a weapon. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards that cloak, to be honest. I was thinking about getting for me boots of striding and a minor healing potion. Yeah. I went with, uh, yeah, you with me getting that. Yeah. Hide yeah, armor think... and minor yeah. stamina potion. I think I might take the. I think I'm gonna take the cloak of invisibility. You're gonna do cloak, okay? Yeah, then I'm gonna take a minor healing potion. How much does that cost? 
Uh, it'll okay. cost you 30 altogether. Yep, so that would use everything we got. Yep. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm kind of torn because I do like the idea of adding poison, but I kind of think the Cloak of Invisibility would be good for me too. Is there a way I can rename my character? I am ready. I, I don't remember if there's a way you can rename it or not. Um, oh, doesn't matter. She's only going to stick around for a little bit. I truly don't remember. All right, let me buy my stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get the Cloak of Invisibility. And then I'm going to get the... I think the only way you can rename it is if you delete the character and then make a new character. Well, I'm not going to oh. do that right now. I mean, she won't stick around too long, so... It'll be fine. I like the idea of the stamina potion too. But I'm gonna go with power potion just because. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, and I guess, uh, kind of looking at the entire town map of Gloomhaven, it's kind of nice to see it all filled out. It's pretty neat. So we'll go ahead and do this um, city encounter. I believe that occurs once every time that you go back to the city. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and quit. Don't forget to equip your items too. Uh, right. Yep. Yeah. Already done. <laughs> might be a good idea. We will have to pick <laughs> our ability cards as well, uh, which I'll do I that in a minute. Uh, are you guys good with doing the um, the city ability or the uh, city encounter? Sorry. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and pull it up. Bottom of your screen whenever you're ready. Okay, so I thought I was going to read it. Um, I guess I'll read these. So usually city encounters are more favorable towards the mercenaries than the encounters you have uh, on the road. They're a little bit... I don't want to say easier, but generally provide more positive results towards your overall group. So whenever you have a city encounter, it's probably within your best interest to go ahead and take it. So this says, having recently returned from your latest adventure, you are approached by a ratty looking boy in tears. Please, sirs, could you please help me with my cat? He went over there and I'm afraid. The boy points a dirty finger at a decrepit abandoned building. I don't know what else to do. So we can either find the cat uh, or, or essentially not find the cat. It says, find the cat, you have more important things to do. Yeah, I remember this one. Go find the cat. What do you guys... Uh... I'll say help the little boy. Uh, I'll say, yeah, I'll say uh, cat fan. Let's go. So Save that cat. the boy and go find the cat. All right. You approach the foreboding house full of heroic bravado. There's certainly nothing otherworldly about the structure, but it's fallen beams and piles of rubber... Rubble? <laughs> Sorry. Do make it difficult to look around. By the time you find the cat hiding under a burned-out bed frame, you are utterly exhausted. At least the boy is ecstatic and his cat has been found. So we lose a perk point, uh, but it looks like we gain a reputation. Collecting three perk points will mark a perk. Is all our reputation shared or is it individual? Yeah, yeah it is shared. Okay. It's like so we essentially got four reputation? No, no, no. no, 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 no one. One. Okay, yeah, gotcha. So group, one for the party. Yeah, the group's deeds... Um, basically affect the entire party. Um, gotcha. And so, if we have enough reputation, we get more uh, new items in the shop and, and discounts. Discounts, yeah. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's not that's not terrible. Um, and we didn't have any perk points yet, so we didn't take so any yeah. Yeah. anything. Yeah, so you didn't, really, you didn't really take a hit, which is good. Um, the Temple of the Great Oak, just for uh, you guys that don't know, um, haven't seen it before, haven't played... You can donate some of your gold on an individual personal level and you get what's called a blessing now these blessings only happen for the next battle you're going to go into um, you can see it at the bottom right here it says you donate 10 gold to the temple you get an additional and it's only uh, two of these cards that are two times attack modifiers so it basically gives you a chance um, to do some really good damage should these cards come up once those cards are used um, in the individual dungeon that you're in, 
they are gone for the rest of that turn. Um, so whether you you know bless yourself uh, or not, sometimes that can make a pretty big difference in terms of the next dungeon you're going to go to. So if you sneeze, you should bless yourself, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. So our first quest that we have access to is um, a world quest up here. It says the Black Barrow. Uh, your journey starts here. So it's just kind of north of the town. Um, starting out as kind of like your basic introductory level quest. So we're going to head that direction and uh, see what happens. You can see the objective here is just to kill all enemies um, in all rooms. So. Oh, hang on. That's, that's a good, uh, good call on the game's part. I didn't adjust my abilities so you guys may want to go through your abilities and put the ones you want in your deck go oh, yeah why you reset mine huh never mind i was clicking on yours i'm sorry <laughs> i can't i didn't reset yours so that's for sure <laughs> i just saw all of them go disappear and i was like wait I can't remember. On your turn, you select two cards, and you get to top or bottom of each card, correct? You'll do the yes. top yes. of one and or bottom of the other, or vice versa, bottom of one and top of the other. The gotcha. first card you pick will be the order you play in. Start so the lower number, the, the quicker you play. Or the yeah, so your initiative up in value. The, yeah, the, yeah. the lower the initiative, the faster the card. And again, we don't want to give numbers away saying I'm playing with uh, you know 79 initiative on this turn or so forth and so on. You can just say I'm going to go super fast or you know, slightly fast or what what have you whatever terms you'd like to use. Um, I can equip four more cards. We definitely want that one. Faster than Ghost on a Friday night. I do like that one. I don't care for that one. I'm trying to decide on my last card here, you guys, so if you want to give me just a second. I really enjoyed uh, session. That would be good. Gnawing horde might be good for us if we can get the the other rat in play as kind of a, a decoy. Mm. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna go with the gnawing horde and just see how we do on this uh, go through. All right. I'm readied up. Whenever you guys select your abilities, just ready up at the bottom, and we should be good to go. I hope. Uh, <laughs> I hope we do well. Probably the biggest threat out of this. Um, whole dungeon that you guys can see the, the guards are not really too big of a deal the archers can be just because of their attack range they can attack up to four squares away which you can see right there the living bones um, they're a little bit harder because they have an automatic shield um, and you guys will need some type of poison to counter those or usually just you know doing more damage so it would take actually two an attack roll of two to damage it by one because they're one shield. Blocks the first one. Yeah, negates one damage. So just waiting on one to uh, finish his abilities. Everyone needs to eat. Whatever your reason for coming to Gloomhaven, out here on the edge of the world, that simple fact is never going to change. A mercenary can't fight on an empty stomach. So when Jexera, a Valrath woman wearing a red cloak and enough gold jewelry to keep you fed for a decade, approaches you in the Sleeping Lion and offers to pay you ten gold coins to track down a thief and retrieve some stolen goods, well, seems like as good an excuse as any to sober up 
and start paying off your tab. This thief has taken some important documents, says the red-skinned merchant, her tail whipping about in agitation. I don't care what you do to him. Just bring back what is mine. Based on Jaxera's description, it was easy enough to knock around a few alley thugs and get a location of the thieves' hideout. You don't find yourself as a mercenary way out in Gloomhaven without knowing how to crack a few skulls. So your target is the Black Barrow. Sounds like a lovely place. So we are off to the Black Barrow. Alright, so we've got an encounter here. This is um, a dungeon encounter, so it's before you get to your actual dungeon. It says, uh, walking a path between a small grove and a steep cliff, you suddenly find yourself facing a massive group of felled trees blocking the road. The placement of the trees seems odd, and you have a wary, suspicious feeling about the whole situation. So our options are we can clear the trees from the road, it is the best way through and will help other travelers, or take the time to find a way around the trees. I have a feeling we should probably just go around the trees instead of going through. Yeah, see, I think we actually should clear them. Now, what would heroes do? The, the thing is, though, if we clear the trees, it may be booby-trapped in terms of us getting attacked and losing some health before we even start the next round. But I feel like if we take the time to find a way around, we may get some sort of exhaustion debuff. Uh... My vote is, though, uh, clear the trees from the road. Yeah, I had clear to... the trees. Yeah, let's clear the trees. Alright. All right. Oh. Okay. The trees aren't part of an ambush, but that doesn't make them any easier to clear. It's grueling work, and by the time you arrive at your destination, you are exhausted. So, this is just what I predicted wow. for the other one, so... Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we'll be discarding three cards at the start of the scenario. Mm. That's, uh... <laughs> that's Not gonna be good. Unfortunate. Um, so, how Gloomhaven works is, you know, based on the number of cards that you have... The hill is easy enough to find. A short journey past the new market gate, and you see it jutting out on the edge of the corpse wood, looking like a rat under a rug. Moving closer, you see the mound is formed from a black earth. Its small, overgrown entrance presents a worn set of stone stairs leading down into the darkness. As you descend, you gratefully notice light emanating from below. Unfortunately, the light is accompanied by the unmistakable stench of death. You contemplate what kind of thieves would make their camp in such a horrid place as you reach the bottom of the steps. Here, you find your answer. A rough group of cutthroats who don't seem to have taken very kindly to your sudden appearance. One in the back matches the description of your quarry. Um, how Gloomhaven typically works is the, the number of cards you have actively determines how long you can participate in the scenario. These are expended by certain actions that you do or just over time. Um, that can cause you to lose a scenario by becoming exhausted or essentially by losing your health down to zero is another way to become exhausted and then you lose. We're not playing on a heroic difficulty enough such that your character would become a killed and completely lost. They just become a fainted and exhausted. Do we still get XP and gold at the end if we uh, are out? Uh, so, only if you pick up the gold. Gotcha. I believe, though, I can't remember uh, according to the board game, but I thought you had to complete the scenario. To actually get um, the spoils, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm not certain. Ghost? Can't remember. I think you still did. 
Or it might just be the experience, the only thing you get. Yes, I, can't remember either. I know for sure it's the experience. We're just waiting for uh, you to confirm. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember either. I didn't know if you remember, but it's been so long since we've played, I can't remember. Uh, so this is what I was kind of telling you guys before, that you have these battle goals. Um, you, you get to pick one of the two. The battle goal is your secret objective that the, each individual person tries to complete. Yeah, if you fail it, it doesn't matter, but if you complete it, it generally gives you some sort of, you know, uh, excess reward, like these perk points. Uh, what perk points are is you need so many. Uh, to essentially level up your character to give him an additional ability. So we can do this one up here. Um, which means we'd have to do... Uh, that's not... so hard. But I don't think we can actually complete that one, so we may need to do this right here we'll, we'll try and go for that one and see if we can complete it so our reward is hidden we don't know what we'll get actually for completing this um i suppose we'll know once we get to the end So at the start of your turn, um, oh, we got discard first. Yeah, I <sighs> thought we could um, select our location. We may not. Be able we to can. We, we can know until we discard the cards. Oh boy. <laughs> Wow, this is really kind of difficult for me to figure yeah. out how far I want to discard I'll go ahead and get rid of that one, even though it's one of my faster ones for now. So, discarded cards, you don't necessarily have a chance to get back all of them. You'll get back a number of them. Depending on your abilities, but we'll kind of go over that as we play through here. I'm sure, you guys will tap. Ghost, is it letting you pick your initial placement? Or have you chosen your discarded cards? No, no, no I haven't chosen my discarded okay. cards yet. I was just curious. Uh, so, what you guys can see next to our character names is our actual health. So, the number represents your health pool. Same with the enemies. Um, that represents their pool as well. If they have a shield next to it, like uh, this bandit elite card here, he is shielded, which means he'll take an additional uh, point of defense with it every single time. If you guys hover over the enemies, you can see what their stats are, what their um, health, their base movement, and then their attack. These are all changed by modifiers that happen with each action. Uh, the same will happen and the actions that we choose. And we'll see that as we play. Uh, as we play through the I'm trying to decide what last one I want to discard. Yeah, I had to turn mine down also. Man, this is uh, difficult. What I want to throw away. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, it was quite difficult for me to pick and choose which ones I wanted to get rid of for the start because I want all of my cards.
Okay, I've discarded mine. So are you gonna go over a short rest and a long rest for everyone when we get there? Yeah, when it when it comes up or if you guys get it before me you can choose to go over it if you want. Depends on who gets it first. Traditionally speaking, long rest you only uh, want to do before you open a door. Um, and as you're doing individual rooms, short rest are generally the better option, although that may not always be the case. There may be special circumstances where you may want to do one versus the other. Is it making us discard in order? Like, could you guys have an option to discard before I chose or no? No, no. I think it uh, goes in order. Okay. I was just curious. Take care of these unfortunates, your target says, backing out of the room. You can vaguely make out his silhouette as he retreats down a hallway and through a door to his left. Well, it's not every day we get people stupid enough to hand-deliver their valuables to us, grins one Got of the larger Kirk. bandits, unsheathing uh, a you click on blade. the couple tiles We're that are going. You, now. <laughs> you, you gotta make sure you're clicked on your character. Jokes on them. If you had any valuables, you probably wouldn't be down here in the first place. Okay, so in this screen, now you can actually change and move your character. You just uh, left-click the ground, or right-click the ground, I believe. I can't remember. That's not working for me. It's Q sure. and E on the keyboard. Rotates. No, no, no. We're, we're looking at picking... Make sure you're clicking on your character. Click on your character first before you try to move a tile. No, mine is. I can uh, see okay, his gotcha. outline in, a, in another spot. Yeah, I can also too, but it won't let me. No. Huh, that's on. Click on your tile first, and then click on... Yeah, I am, but it's not moving. I think you can only move one square away from your original spot. Is that right? I can't remember. You should be able to move in any of these highlighted. No, he said what a loop. Hmm. Sorry guys, we're just figuring out, trying to figure out how to... Make sure you're not clicked on someone else. I, I have my boot clicked on. It just won't let me select. Move. Yeah, it's weird. Mine won't either. So. Huh. That's that's really weird. How exactly are you doing it? Cuz I mean can you see the outline of your character on another uh, location? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can you move yours? No, I cannot. So Are you right clicking or left clicking? Left clicking. Stop doing it. That is bizarre. Do you have your ability selected already or no? No. Yeah. Once you're in the selection, you can't move anymore. Should just let you like it. Should just let you left click and move him. No, oh, well, it says down at the bottom start turn for each hero. Select two ability cards or choose to rest. Maybe we but can't do that yet. Well, he said he didn't already select his abilities and he can move, and that's the way it should. Mm. Be. Oh, let's just start like this. Don't mind. <clears throat> Are you guys picking your abilities? Yeah, I am. I'm picking now. Probably gonna try and go fairly slow. I'm going Just as a heads up. fairly slow. I really wish it would let me move my character. That, that kind of bugs me. I'm not sure why I can't move.
Okay, so this uh, card that you see for the Bandit Elites, this will pertain to everything they're going to do this round. Bandit Guards, it will pertain to all the Bandit Guards this round. So they'll each move four and attack one. The Elites will move three and attack two. So this is kind of independent from what you see above. Their base stats are modified by a roll, and that's what's uh, shown up on the screen for you now. The order they'll act in is the basically a speed of 30. So if we chose cards that are faster than that, we'll move faster than they will. Or lower if there are cards that are better. That's why they're coming after you. No, I'm saying I got it so lucky both attacks were zero. Oh. Juan is... <laughs> Man, they really hate he, you, dude. He's, he's taking some hits, for sure. He's taking some hits. Usually well. the first room is one of the toughest uh, that you guys will face in any type of dungeon encounter. It's just... It's a matter of trying to survive it and get through. Looks like Ghost is going to go with a sweeping blow. Uh, you don't have to necessarily worry about friendly fire in a lot of situations. Um, it won't count against you. kind of blocked in so we need to kill one person so we can move yep I'll probably use your healing instead and well actually yeah I don't mind. well but that would his tornado damage us I don't know yes yes it does I think it would in that case <clears throat> Yeah, all allies and enemy in the targeted area. What you can do with the target area, like behind the enemies and try to get, you know, like... Yeah, I, I don't know, I'd say maybe try, try it. it. Uh, right try there. for the tornado. Scoundrel's true nature. Yes, yes. Must Gotta take, have this must Chinese take man. The gold. Must take the gold. Can I uh, reuse my cloak of invisibility or is it a one time use? You cannot. These are one time only use. You can see in the bottom corner of the invisibility card, it has a little X symbol. In uh -huh. the bottom right, that means it's a burn. Okay. So these are one time only use per scenarios. Okay. Man, that would really be good. The question is, is what are what are the elites doing? They're attacking two, but the other one's only attacking one. Yeah, but they already moved, so. No, I know. Yeah, that's what I want, actually. Ugh. 
So what we're going to do is take control of this guy and have him attack the same guy we already attacked. And hope for a really good roll, but actually he will get disadvantage. No, he won't. He's melee. Uh, do I confirm it and then pick the other one? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, not bad. I mean, he at least took a hit of damage. So that was the end of that turn. Um, and now basically we're going to repeat that cycle all of us again and try and figure out what to do next. And go really fast. You're gonna go really fast? Really fast. I think I may go kind of fast. I mean, it's fairly fast. I am gonna try and take out just the guy in front of me. Um, I think that's the plan. Right, I'm gonna try to focus on these two guys over here then. We'll see what they do. Oh, now they have range. Oof. Okay. They're, the elites are still going to do more damage this turn, so... That's... That's definitely something. Um, I can get these two guys on my side. Okay. Just as a heads up for uh, anybody who uh, is watching the videos, these will be unedited, unedited in terms of our movement selection, card selection, and so forth. Um, so just kind of be prepared for that if you decide to watch the series. Um, it's just going to be shown in its entirety in terms of what cards people are picking, what abilities they're using, nothing taking out. worth a shot. Yeah, it was. Good try. I mean, be, be forewarned, though, that does burn that car. Okay. Really don't want to, uh, I really don't want to lose that car. Are you sure you got the, the shielded elite? Because I can do a little, yeah. or I might be able to do a little bit of damage to him. Depending yep. on my role. If you want to do a little bit of damage, you can. But it might be better than to take out a full guy completely. True. It's up to you. I, I might not be able to kill them both or anything, but I'll... I'm going to go ahead and take out the full one just so it'll prevent any damage from coming through. Um, it's better to take one out completely. True. So we're going to go that route. I am going to move power. Whoa. Uh, just to try and get away a little bit. But I don't think I can get away enough to prevent any attacks from coming my way. So... kind of want that gold. I am going to go for the gold. Shield the guys are going to prevent or present a little bit of a problem. If you could take out the non elite, I think that would. Um, on your side, Ghost. Okay. We could focus on the non elite here and then just maybe pick off the elites at the end. I don't know. 
It's probably better to go after the weaker ones first. Uh, Mara, you don't want to or get uh, since you have range attack with that. I would attack the ones that are closer to me. That way, you don't get disadvantage on that massive boulder attack. If that's what you're planning to do, I'm just gonna do basic attack. Well, yeah, he's got to be careful with that too, because allies <laughs> additional damage. Oh, true, 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 true. Got to be careful with that. Yeah, just don't pop that door. I really hope it takes that guy out. Close. Good job. Thank you. Yep, that's at least one. That's good. Okay, this is a problem. This is a problem. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad, like, the person with the lowest HP decides to take uh, most of the damage in that round. Appreciate it. Uh, well, I have two cards left. Do I need a short rest, or do I have that option after I use these two cards? You have that option after you use that. You're gonna okay, so. And then you'll short rest afterwards. Whoa. Animal man. Is, uh, discarding uh, three cards in the medium beginning speed was pretty. Ah. This, this is hurt pretty rough. fairly quickly, but oh man! I decided to short rest on the first turn to get two of my cards back. We're gonna have to see what they're gonna do to kind of plan this out because I am dangerously close to uh, getting hurt right now. And I may be, in fact, long resting just to get some health back after the end of this turn. Um, I wouldn't. I yeah, I may have to. Because now they're shielding and retaliating. Which means they're not attacking. They're not attacking, but anything short of a ranged attack is going to hurt you. So, Genghis, when you do ranged attack, like that, you need to make sure they're further away from you than just next to you. Okay. You take disadvantage when you uh, are right next to the person you're attacking with a ranged attack. I would probably choose your non-elite if you're going to do that attack ability. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ghost, remind me, disarm does not affect retaliate. Is that correct? Uh, I don't know. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh my oh, goodness. Nice. Yes. Very nice, very nice, sir, very nice. Yeah. Now, retaliate doesn't work on range, I believe, so if you can range attack them. Right, but if I push first, right? Uh, you have to attack then push. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. then his retaliate shouldn't affect us, correct? Probably it should. Shouldn't affect me. It doesn't affect you guys at all. You're getting away scot-free from all this. <laughs> um, 
Or I could be stingy and go for the gold. I recommend you go for the gold. If you want to stay alive. I hate this armor is too. It's up to you. I'm gonna try this because I wanna see. Did work. Nice. Oh, you can heal him. I'll go for the gold and go for the gold and heal him. Yeah, definitely go for the gold. Oh, nice. And it's an offer. Appreciate the off healing. That's good. Yep. Very good. We got some earth. I'm just going to short wrist it. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a pretty good card. We can burn that. We don't care. We can get we can get that. Uh, um, I can take this guy. That's okay. I'll take him. I'll take him on. Hmm. I can take him. Well, I'd rather you guys move closer to the door. And get ready to open. I've got some longer moves, so I can get back to the door. Um, I just really think it'd be better if you let me do it. Okay. Um, so I guess let me uh, get closer and let me open the door. I'll open the door since I have the highest health. Can you open it this turn? Uh, yeah, I, I can pause it. One, two, okay. three, four, five. Uh, I'm going to move up to the uh, left of the door. You can also ping spots. Oh, look, we got our cards back. We didn't, like, burn them. We no, just discarded, just discarded them. Yeah. Oh, so it's not too bad. I started the round of uh, the game with uh, a short rest to get two cards back instead of losing all three. Oh, you used your, you used your pot? No, I used a short rest before I used my pot. Oh. Back at the beginning of the game, I, I did a short rest to get two cards back. Abilities, real quick. Uh, I don't know if you guys have. Yeah, you have. Yeah, okay. Do you want me to open the door right now? I, I think uh, if you guys could plan on it, if somebody could open it, and then we plan around what to do next. Yeah, I think it. I think it'd be time to pop it. I think we're in a good spot to pop the door. Open it, if possible. Yeah. Let me open it since I let me go first. So how fast are you going? Like decently fast, or I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can, but it's not too fast though. So I'm gonna try move to fast enough to take part. out the guy uh, pretty much before he can do anything. So I, I guess Juan and Genghis can move sort of slower, slower. Yeah, maybe you guys try Pretty to go slow. like medium slow speed or like slow speed and just probably so more slow. Give him a chance to pop the door if he can. But I can get the guy um, and should be able to get myself back in a better position. So. It's not going to be great, you know, super great, but it, uh, it'll be okay. Well so much for that idea I guess you can help them then if you have a range uh, I'm not sure that's why I selected though <laughs> One. Uh, yeah I did uh, so yeah I can uh Juan can I'll, move. Juan, yeah, I'll Juan move towards can... the door and I'll I'll range it Juan can also range it Juan solo well, I still got him damaged a little bit. I mean, he's not dead, but... How do we know what traps look like on the ground? Yeah, it looks like a bear trap. Okay. Yeah, right, so ready for me to pop the door? Yeah. Okay. 
So you can see the traps in the next room there. Should I try to get the elite or try to damage one of the other ones? Do one of the other ones, I say. Uh, yeah, I would always go for the perhaps non elites. Just so yeah, the less bodies we got, the less bodies we got to deal with, the better. We definitely will want you to back uh, out of that doorway, though. <laughs> We've got to get line of sight away from the doors. Well, what are they doing? They, uh, they're immobilizing. Me. Oh. Yeah, they're immobilizing. Oh, uh, Juan Solo? Could I recommend something? No. No. Could I recommend something first instead of that? Yeah. Um, so, save that for your attack, move behind me, and then can you use that top attack on that card that you have selected to mobilize that elite so he doesn't come in, you know, beat me up? Uh, might not be a bad idea. We have Earth active, so... Uh, you do realize that if I'm do, it's alright. You You're blocked. If you move right behind him, not. Oh. No, 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 no. Well, no, you can still do it. You should still you be able can? to attack him. That okay, I know. Delete, delete, delete. Make sure it's delete. Oh, it's all of them. Yes, consume it. Make sure it's silly. Beautiful. Ow. Man, that dude really hates you, man. He doesn't like me. <laughs> we have a bit of a misunderstanding. <laughs> man, they don't like him either. <laughs> I'm gonna be immobilized, so I can't this next well, turn. Sure. Well, at the start of your next turn, you should be clear. Oh, okay. I think it should wear off, right? I oh, can't remember. With that ability, uh, Ingus, before you pick that, you're gonna have to move first and then attack. Okay, and yeah, that's why I thought it looks like a, a move ability, or a range ability is what it looks like. doing your other one first. I would do Venom Shiv, and then just use your bottom card to... Yep. Or I sure that you can do the bottom card in loop. No, don't do the no, 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 no. Do the attack ability on the do, do the attack. Well, he needs to get in range before he can do the attack. No, he's already, yeah. he's already in range. He's going to attack the guy behind him. Yeah, he's attacking the, this guy right here. Uh. There we go. Nicely done. Well, that's about right. <laughs> that's about right. That's what I expect from Scoundrel, so at least it's playing how it should. Okay. That might not be a bad idea here. So maybe going this route and oh, we can't do that. to go kind of fast. Make 
This is our last room, though, isn't it? I don't see any. Uh, no, there is oh, another there is door. door. Yep. Okay. I didn't see that. If anybody has like a range push, that has there's some traps by the door. Push for the elite over there. I'm going pretty slow. So, Gingus, if you hit uh, tab at your default controls, you can highlight all uh, places on the ground and you can see the traps highlighted. Okay, yep, sweet. Up there by that door? Okay. Which we will need to push somebody onto those uh, so we don't have to go through those. So, that may not be a bad idea if we can get somebody up there or something. Just you know, I can dis I can disarm traps. Okay. Well, we may have to use that. These archers are, are a big problem this round. Attack four, attack three, range five, range six. That's huge. We've, they're not moving, so we have to get out of range of those archers. Or line of sight. Uh, I'm probably, I can't. Hope you, you guys can help me. Yep. Yes. I'm, I'm all until the end of my turn. Eee. Next turn. What's the elites doing? Attack uh, two. At least the normal archers can't reach me, so the only the elite archer can. <laughs> Seems about right. some serious help. You brought some healing pots there, uh, ghost. That's it. That's all the heals. Of course. Can I use my healing pot on anyone, or is it just a self-use thing? It's just a self-use. Oh, man. The only other person who can really heal is, uh, Juan. Or anything I should do here. Try to attack the elite. It's the only one you can attack, so try that. Well, hopefully I get a good a good roll. Nice. I mean any damage is better than no damage at this point. Like We've just gotta get him out of that doorway. We've gotta get we gotta force the soldiers to come up. I'm guessing I can't attack because he's in the doorway, right? No, but you can move right here with your bottom on the special mixture, maybe? You can still attack if you're right here. And you can attack poison, this guy. Poison, poison okay. Poison, yeah. So move that and then do the attack on that guy. With the single move level. right. Okay. It should still you do more damage with singled out since he's uh, close to Ghost. But he can poison them with a special mixture, move and poison them, and then do the do attack. Mm -hmm. Then do the top. top right. Top. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But with a single out, he does an extra two damage since you're next to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And but first he needs to, you know, well, I guess he still needs to move. You should be able to poison him <coughs> and yeah, skip movement. Good. Yeah. You have to confirm your action by clicking on him. 
Uh, nope. doesn't let me. Nope. Try to skip your. He's not saying adjacent because it's line of sight to the wall. Yeah, that's a wall there. Well, so come? yeah, I got nothing. How come uh, credit card was able to do that? Nope. Well, maybe the wall's technically blocking line of sight. Yeah. Well, I guess if it has still on the little squares, like mm -hmm. the red squares. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... I'm sure resting. Oh, man, see, that's not gonna do any good. Mm. I I'm can, uh... gonna heal. Ghost, are you gonna? I'm gonna, try to, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna try to move back. Are you? You're back. I wouldn't. I I I'd fight because I'm gonna heal you. Yeah, but you want me to fight then? I mean, I'm going a little faster than medium speed, but not too fast. I'm going. Uh... So if I can beat everyone else out, I can heal you. But I'm going decently fast. I can I can free up a little <clears throat> space, but I don't know if that would be useful in this particular. I can I, okay. What I can do is I can try to attack and then move one square back, and that way mm -hmm. he'll move forward and it'll bottleneck the entrance. Yep. The only ones that we have to worry about is the archers. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then I'm gonna pick uh, my other abilities. I'm gonna go a little bit slower. Then. Let's hope this works. Now should I focus the elite and then that guy that has one of the spears? If you can still back out of the way, I have a plan. If you if you can still back out of the way without killing that elite. Without killing the elite. Without killing the elite. I probably won't be able to kill him, but I can damage him. He only has one health left. No, that's the non-elite. Oh, that's the one I need. Oh, because the attack that I was going to do is going to attack right, him. Go for it. I'll adjust. Just move one back or more or two back? It's, I'd do one, probably, but it's your call. I'd be safe go two, but... I don't want to move all the way back. Because we're going to get in front of you at this point, most likely. <laughs> what are the archers doing? They're just shooting, but they're no more. Target of two. Range, range five. So the they elite. can't reach it. Yeah, they can't. So if range. anybody steps on that gold, you'll be within range. But if you kill the other so two... Don't step on the gold. Some other... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. I, don't, I don't know about that. You don't know about that. If anything, I would save it. To real close to the archers and then move an archer into oh, a trap. That would be move if you like, if you moved here. And then move an the archer. Here. No, no, you'd have to move here and then attack this archer and pull him through these two traps. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be to here. But you'd need... That would have been good on your second uh, you turn need, after this. You need four movement, which, yeah, it's not possible. Yeah. I mean, I'll leave it up to you. I just, I don't really want the doorway blocked with another body. But if you want to do it, do it. I mean, what other choice do I have? Can you kill him? I mean... Maybe. He would have to move first. Yeah. I mean, if I get no, well, I can pull them. I can, can pull them. You can pass through, uh, through allies though. So take no. no. Yeah, you can. You can pass oh, through allies. Yeah. You can't pass. You through can't enemies. pass through allies. I mean, 
we still have Juan's turn to go, so I mean, I could pull the dude into the doorway, I could attack him. He might die if I get my modifier, if I get a modifier of one or above. Because I'm not attacking at all this round. And that one's double shielded. So there's no way you can kill him. You'd have to, yeah, I mean, even if you got a two times modifier on the elite, you wouldn't kill him. It would do no damage, because he's double shielded. If I got two times modifier, it'd be six, though. Uh, no, because your top ability, he's not moving. That's it'd be f well, it'd be four. Yeah, that's your no, if, ability if, on if you card. pull him, you can. You oh, can yeah, because I can't pull Aaron. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't pull and do an attack on that particular card rotation. Well, I can't. I really can't do anything. I mean, he could still pull an attack, but it's only going to be a two attack. True. And it's probably not going to do anything. Nope. So it's probably better to move. Then do your attack. Like my gold. You should have moved to the doorway. You could attack that. I didn't have the movement to get to the doorway. Oh. Uh -huh. That was the problem. targets of it. So I'm down to one card. Like, do I just get the one turn? Or the one... You're exhausted. You okay, so I need to do a short rest. Or if you do a long rest, you can pick the card that you want to discard, but you won't be able to do anything, and you can heal. It would just be sort of in the way in there, but I think you should be fine if you want a long rest. I might have an idea uh moving this guy into a trap. Possibly. Um, let me focus on the elite. I think I might be able to get him. So if you guys want to go and work on the archers and stuff, or the other guy, I think I should be able to get the elite. If I can as long as I don't get a good miss or a negative one. Or a zero. You're focusing on the elite? Yeah, I think I should be able to. Question: If I stay here in the doorway and turn invisible, if the archers shoot through to try and hit someone else, will it hit me? No. No. no? Okay. But they can target people behind you. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, but it won't hit me though. That is correct. Okay. Well, 
I'm gonna leave the elite to you. I'm gonna target the other one if that's okay. careful with these three archers still in the back. Okay, I'm going pretty fast. Some shielding for the guards, and they're going really fast. They're, they're not moving and they're attacking range 5, range 4, but lower attacks for the archers. <laughs> That's alright, you can still do another attack. Oh, yeah, you can. Never mind. Okay. I tried. That shield, man. They, they seem to have gotten a lot of shields. But at least they're not moving with their poison blade. We're still in fairly decent shape, I think. Are you done with your turn? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Man, they just keep armoring up. Okay, we got the archers moving up. Okay, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Okay, let's not all turn to me. Thank goodness for the whiff. Get in there and start taking them out. I'm gonna leave that art, uh, this bandit to you guys. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just attack, probably. Yeah. The, 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 the one you just here. did. Move them. It'll. What's three damage? Move them over, over here. You can only move one square. That's right. I'll take them to that one. Nice, nice. I think you just blocked my... Yeah. No, 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 you're fine. Here's two. <laughs> oh, my shield. My God. Hey, it's still good. Yeah. And I needed anything, but I needed a plus one. Uh, I'm on a long race. Got a long rest so I can make sure which cards I want to keep this time.
Actually, no, my super good, but uh... maybe doing something a little bit risky on this turn, just ends up on going after that elite. Okay. Just so you know, there is a little risk. We're gonna move really fast. Yeah, I'm going pretty fast. If I should burn a card or not. I probably wouldn't yet. Wait until we get to the next turn. Unless it's going to provide a significant advantage here. It's going to hurt quite a few of them. We don't really know what's in the next room, so I'll probably save it because I think I might be able to take the elite out. You want me to take care of this elite right here? Or? I think I can take the elite. That's what I'm saying. Oh, the the number one, the one with the one. Or you mean the archer? Sorry, I'm talking about the archer. The elite okay. archer. Yeah, that's the one I'm going for. Is the elite archer also? I'm Let leaving me, the I, bandit to you guys. I'll I'll get the bandit then. You guys focus on the archers then. You guys are moving pretty fast? Yep. Oh yeah. shielding and he's shielding fast hey if he can leave the space open directly in front of the dude like the archer you'll, you'll have this space here open which one can you ping it uh I'm trying it won't let me the, the one yeah. i need that one open That's that you just pinged open. okay Look at gremlins. I I need shiny things. I <laughs> need these shiny things. Good job. Oh, it's mem. I may regret that going in the next room because I, I burned a little bit doing that. Um, I got a question, Genghis. If I move yeah. him, will, will that mess you up? If you do what? If I move the guy, will it mess you up pretty bad? I need the... Oh, you mean the can, archer? Can, can you get where the gold is or no? No, I can't. I can only move two. I don't think you can. <sighs> you don't think so? Yeah, I don't think so because push is only away from you. And I would just take out. I would just take out the bandit dude. Oh, well, I think. Gonna, okay. Uh, I guess. He's in a wall setting. I don't think your push would work. Good 
guess I'll leave Craig to kill that guy then. Maybe. At least he's disarmed, so he won't be able to attack. Yep. Oh my goodness, attack again. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Probably should have rethought that a little bit with me taking out the elite archer. Yeah. You could have saved from burning all your stuff. That's okay. It's not that big a deal. It should be alright. Alright, I hope this gets the guy. Need a good roll. What do you what would you need? A five? No. Yeah, you got a three. That was so bad. <laughs> I don't, can you not use stability from where you're at? Well, I was trying to get the advantage. Oh. You have it. Awesome. You want me to open the door? Uh, uh, not yet. No. Uh, I guess get over here. <laughs> get the golden. Because I plan to do that. I'm. Well, no, I can't. Never mind. Yeah, I might be able to. Let me see what I get on a short wrist, and I might be able to do it. You want me to? I can open it. Ooh, that's my heal card. Uh, I'm gonna redraw. <sighs> and of course, I lost the other one. Yeah, I'm a, I'm actually going to be running out of turns fairly quickly, so somebody else will have to open this door. I can open it. I'm only gonna have about one or two more really big hits, uh, and that's gonna be it. I burned a lot of cards so far. Hopefully, there won't be like, but you know, two. Two to three guys in here. I'll say there's probably at least four. You think four? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Didn't the Mind Thief have a card where he could get all his discarded cards back? I thought that was the, uh, that's the wizard person. That was a Spellweaver and a Tinkerer. Yeah, I knew Spellweaver had one too, but I thought Mind Thief did as well. Just Tinkerer and Spellweaver. Alright, so you guys ready for me to open the yeah. door? Just don't step on the trap. Kicking through the door, you find yourself face to face oh, at least with four. the reason these bandits chose this particular oh. hole to nest in. Animate oh powers. goodness! Unholy abominations of necromantic power. We may be in trouble. Nothing more to do but lay them to rest, along with the remainder of this troublesome rabble. Yeah. Should we retreat back and let them come to us? I can't. I don't know. You're in the way. Okay. Well, good luck. This is going to be a problem. Bones not be pushed to the left. Even though they're not going to do anything this turn, they're just shielding and healing, but <laughs> still. Of course. 
Yeah, this isn't looking so terribly good for us. I don't know if we have enough cards to keep short resting and stuff to get us through this. I actually don't. My turns are going to be limited. And they keep... Uh... I had to burn too many because I took too much damage in the beginning. So I cost myself quite a few number of turns. So much for the first quest being easy. <laughs> There's been a number of times where Ghost and I have played, and it was by the skin of our teeth. When it came down to the last possible card on the last possible turn, <laughs> that we only won. And this, I fear, may not go the direction we want it to go. Man. There's a lighting you up, boy. I'm still thinking. Okay. Nope, I'm still here. doesn't matter like so what happens if we lose we keep our XP and our gold we picked up I don't, I think we nope. our XP. I don't know for sure your XP I don't know about the gold what about if we complete our hidden objective thing oh if you lose you lose you don't okay yeah okay gotcha <sighs> I might as well just abandon that I think you do, but I'm not sure if you remember. You do. We'll find out, because, uh, I don't know if we're going to win this one. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone's armored up. There's not really... Well, you're poisoning the gates when you shield. Continuously. Anybody who watches this first video is in for a treat. Uh, <laughs> this isn't going to be one of those situations where we're just going to run in and clean house. I wasn't honestly anticipating this back room being quite as. No, I w usually any back room I've seen is like two or three people. This is like full. Man, I, I there's nothing really good I can do. be the meat shield for everyone. Maybe you get a good roll and do some damage on. You never know. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's hard to hurt a double shield, you know? Yeah. Gonna 
burn that card, but now seeing the fact that these guys are the short rest but I don't know if I'll die though a long rest short short rest or a risk getting tried a long rest I I don't know if it matters at this point to be honest because this is my yeah I don't, this is my I don't think a long rest and see if it can. I don't think we're gonna make it out of this fellas Unless, I mean, unless Juan's got some major damage dealers, but then he's got to somehow get in front of all of us. I don't know. Okay, I'm going pretty fast. Oh, that would be good right now for his third tornado. If he's yeah. close to us, he could poison all. Y'all think I should run to the back and try and take out some archers? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> You're like whatever at this point. I mean, this is my last turn. I'm going to be exhausted after the end of this round. I just I burned way too many cards by taking all that damage in the beginning of the of the game. So I kind of played that one poorly. It's going to be disadvantage, but uh... Papa needs a piece of gold. You guys may pull this out. Yeah, so this game is gonna do a little bit of damage right now on some. Mm -hmm. Oh, how many how many turns do you think you have, Genghis? Um. Okay. He's got about, let's see if he has to discard here, that'll give him three, so that'll be one more turn, discard, he's got about two more turns, I think. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 alright, do you mind if I make a suggestion or no? Ooh, single out, on the skeleton. Yeah, I was thinking single out either on the skeleton or use the bottom thing, because they're all going to be grouped up too well. I oh, I can't. Ah, oh, dang it. No, That's no, not no. what. Those box. Oh, I didn't see those boxes there. Crap. Yeah, they're, so. they're all adjacent to their allies, so no. Singled out would still be the best option. The top part? Yeah. Because they're all adjacent to each other and they're all going to stay out of the Yeah, but the bottom one would, on his next four attacks. Uh, enemies adjacent to none of their allies. Oh, not, oh none. Oh, so, sorry. So I, I, I misread it. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. They're going to be all grouped and stay grouped from here on out. 
Yeah, I would slide Man, the only, way, the, the only way through is through that skeleton. I would slide all the way over. Or at least over one. Not all the way, but over one so he can step up. Let go step up. I mean, you still got a healing potion. You guys might be able to pull this off. <laughs> we'll see. No, I'm serious. I, ho I hope you take all the damage since you're already gonna, like, like be exhausted. I'm gonna take every hit. So you're gonna shoot at me. I should get hit by one more archer, I think. Yeah, I'm closer to you. I would take the damage, yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's fitting. <laughs> okay, I'm out. <sighs> Wow. Yeah, that totally threw a kink in my idea. I didn't see those boxes there, the not boxes, but those bricks there. Yeah, the obstacle. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna run around to the side. No, you'll need a jump to get over those. You'll have to have some sort of jump. Which um, ghost could jump. I could, but I already burned that card. But you got your boots up. Oh, no, that's just plus no. two. What do you got left? Tra you have trample. That oh, trample. trample, yes. I still got my plus two and times two. <laughs> Honestly, trample might not be too bad now with your boots. And I already... I'm Oh yeah, they're yeah, already taken. You got your long rest. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then, then don't, don't, don't ready up yet. So, because that would give you what six movement. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. You could target him, 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 and then come back here. Or I could get that chest. Could you? Yeah, I could go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I'd go for the chest, honestly. Well, but you know, we may not Do you keep it, it if I, we die? I don't know. I'd go for the chest. <laughs> Trust me. Well, but you played Scoundrel before, so we know how you think it's greed over. Uh, no, it actually helps us in the long run. I don't know if it's keep it. It's I'm not try, what you I'm think. Gonna try, I'm, gonna, like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Just go for the chest. Or you mean it's not what you think? He's spoiling. Not actually. He's got spoilers. I think he's already played this. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's just. I'm gonna try. Just. You do you. Alright, go get this. I kinda wish the skeletons would move a little bit first, that way they, one can move to the spot in front of me. Mm -hmm. That way I can get more. Mm -hmm. Kangas, picking cards. So I got two left. Hello? Oh, I two. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Are you picking your cards? Should be an easy pick, you only have two. <laughs> Skeletons have target too, which is not good. Okay, I mean. See, I probably would have done your move to attack two and then attack three. Oh, yeah, I just. Yep. Yeah. Oh, crap, did I choose the wrong one? Hit, hit attack. Okay. Don't do your burn. Just attack him. Don't do that. Do your basic. Yeah, I jacked that up. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he's right. dead, so right. it doesn't matter. Yeah, still got one. Getting one's better than nothing. Don't forget the 
boots. Oh, this is just a Come on. Oh. Oh. Select highlights. Must be another really cool position or something. Yeah, it was. That's fortunate. Still minus two, but you don't have any other options, do you? You didn't nope. burn discarded cards. And he only has two discarded cards, yeah. so he's dead dead. I got one more turn after this. <sighs> no, because you still have to discard, I think. You guys are going to have a tough road ahead of you to pull this one out. Man. What? Burn? Yeah, I said burn two cards, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, either way, you're, this is your last turn. That's why even if you're short raised, you still have to burn one card and you have one card left, so... Just take the damage, honestly. You're still... I mean, I'm done. Might as well receive the damage. There's still a chance they can pull this out. I wonder if you got that, yeah, that retaliate. That is definitely not a bad idea. Yep. You guys fight. I don't want to jinx this, but uh... I don't think so. As Parappa the Rapper once said, you gotta believe. Actually, a credit card still has a lot of cards, so. Yeah, and he's got that uh, ranged add target card, too. Which is super helpful. Yeah, don't worry about the skeleton. Do the other guys, because the skeleton, even if he attacks you, you're going to retaliate. Nice damage. Surprised why they didn't move. They had movement.
Uh, they can't. It's not their turn yet. Oh, yeah, it is. Huh? Why didn't they? Huh. Well, things are looking good, but I don't know now. I guess because they were muddled, so it wouldn't have would have mattered, probably. Uh, that's probably correct. They couldn't have got advantage anyway. So... You got this. You know what to do. That spot right there has. Uh, oh man, y'all got this! Come on. I'm exhausted. No. Oh, that's good. No, I needed him to stay move, stay still, because mm -hmm. <sighs> I could attack them. Okay, I'm take... but you might be able to push that archer into the corner and force him to get disadvantage at all times. Yeah, but this is my last round. Kill him and get the gold for yourself. And the XP. Well, he said there was, yeah, there's six gold on that pile down below. Yeah, but I can't reach it. Gotta move three. What do you mean? Oh, I can, yeah. Well, that was a, that was a good effort. Uh, good effort, guys. Good effort. Man, that was good, yeah. So, we got some records. What did we get? I got no records on anything. Cool. I ain't gonna lie, the Brute looks pretty good right there. Uh, Brute has almost all the records of the entire night. <laughs> Tell them that my uh, scenario failed. That's your battle goal. Oh, I know. That... Uh, would have, like you said, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Because yeah. I, I was about to run over that trap and just get, get it done. Okay, return to map. Alright, so do you guys want to try it again, or call it? I say let's go again. I have to get ready for work. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like we did get to keep our gold, so that's a plus. Um, so you keep your gold and XP, and just nothing else. So now that we're back at the city, we have another city encounter. Shall we complete oh, that? Oh no, wait, look. I unlocked the windswept highlands from the chest. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's one of the side quests. Yeah, let's do the uh, city encounter. Get it out of the way. So yeah, we'll do that, and then uh, we'll end the video for here. So.
So upon returning to the city after your latest adventure, you're approached by a high-ranking guard at the gate. Ah, good. I'm glad to have caught you, the guard begins. The capital has fallen behind on shipments of wood to Gloomhaven. So now it falls to us to pick up the slack so that construction of important city buildings doesn't stagnate. The guard points to the east. We're forming an expedition to gather logs from the corpse wood. We could use your help, either to guard against enemies or to chop down trees. Um, Did you mean it's a guard? Yeah, yeah I said fine. guard. Yeah, let's do it. The logging experience. expedition heads to the outskirts of the corpsewood and begins felling trees and transporting them back to Gloomhaven. You stand your guard, patrolling the area and making sure the wood, or there are no surprise attacks. A couple of hours in, a tribe of vermlings appear through the woods, which are alert and prepared, dispatching them without a single casualty. The rest of the day goes by uneventfully. 10 XP. Very nice. Yeah. Now, was that, is that going to award it to everybody or is that split? Yeah, it's good. It's our word because now I have 22 XP. Yeah, that's good. All right. So, we want to thank everybody for joining us on the first uh, episode of our Gloomhaven series. As you can see, it might be a little bit of a lengthy one. Uh, we didn't do so well in managing the uh, enemies within the first dungeon, but uh, rest assured, we'll be back next week to handle the enemies of the Black Barrow and hopefully have a more favorable outcome. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. See you. See you guys later.